I wish to open this video by reading and analyzing a quote from one of my favorite books, which I have already reviewed on the channel, Man in This World, written in 1952 by the German journalist Hans Zerre. The quote is as follows. Culture and consciousness are unstable qualities, neither existent by their own strength, nor borne up by the will of creation. They depend on man's power to bear them and nourish them, and they collapse the moment his power begins to relax. If man makes the whole of his existence dependent on the pseudo-reality of culture, he is drawing strength from the works which he himself has created and which demand of him the power for their maintenance. Thus, we get the vicious circle that what demands man's strength in order to be maintained has first to give him the strength to carry out the task. Once man has gotten into the vicious circle, the decline of culture and consciousness begins. The decline will not be apparent while man can still draw liberally from the reservoir of strength the preceding generations have stored up. But the collapse is swift and catastrophic when the reserves become low. After spending some time mulling over the aforementioned passage from Zera's work in a state of extended contemplation, it has become ever more apparent to me that the momentum of this channel will eventually halt when I run out of material to reference. That's not to say there is a shortage of reference material for content in the present or foreseeable future especially given the extensive reserves I possess. Admittedly, there is a equivalent lifetime of material to draw from, but deep down I know that Zera is still correct, and should I ever reach the end of my reserves, the futility of the whole cultural exercise and the subsequent futility of this channel itself will become clearer. But regardless of that daunting realisation, we should continue anyway because one must express themselves, and this channel is a valuable medium through which that is currently possible. Thus, by continuing on, new content and material can be created. However, the quality of what is created may diminish over time. Still, let me put forth the suggestion that the best way to overcome nihilism would be to outwardly express it in a creative fashion. Whilst it may feel counterintuitive or contradictory, one should aim to use the dark emotional impulse to create. Let what you create reflect how you're feeling at the time, and let how you're feeling at the time be reflected in what you create, art imitating life and life imitating art. I feel I am doing as I should in fulfilling a purpose by using the gift of my mind, my articulacy and creativity in a humble attempt to take up the mantle of being part of the culture-bearing stratum in what is frankly otherwise a distinctly uncultured time. Undoubtedly, for those who are aware, the current epoch is a genuine odyssey, but it is also important that the individual chooses one of two paths relative to their natural disposition, the stoic path or what I will refer to as the artistic path. Both are a form of coping, either remaining unmoved and indifferent or choosing to ride the wave and embracing one's artistic instincts in spite of the fact that creativity is gradually disappearing. Henceforth, if you are a natural artistic and creative type like myself, when you're upbeat, you'll create upbeat content. When you're nihilistic, you'll create nihilistic content. But ultimately, you'll still create. This is good and necessary for the creative individual. It is their raison d'etre, their life task. Purely because it flows out of them with ease in such a natural way that cannot be easily explained. Being creative would be the closest thing to God for this archetype. Since you tap into that same primordial creator energy and build something tangible that everyone can see 
from nothing but a feeling that no one can see, but everyone knows or senses, and either acts on creatively or doesn't at any given time through either their choice or impulsive urge. Obviously, everyone has these emotional feelings, but many people are not in touch with them from a creative standpoint and will just let them pass and think nothing of them, whilst those who can will reflect and heavily invest in the emotions, using them to bring forth something artistic, poetic, or possibly meaningful.